Welcome fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers to another Joy of Unboxing and we're going to unbox a game which is subtle, sensitive and very, very complex. No, I'm lying. We're going to open Gore Chosen by Games Workshop. Um, there's nothing subtle about it, basically. Um, put in a little bit of uh, 1980s heavy metal and mix it with well, some 1980s heavy metal, and what do you get? Gore Chosen! It's uh, four warriors of corn battling it out in an arena, and uh, the last person to stay standing wins. Yep. So, let's have a look inside this box. Now, as you know, Games Workshop have been concentrating on board games quite a lot lately, tuning out lots of boxed games and it's good to see and ones like this which are pretty straightforward and fun um, are just a ticket and they're also not too expensive more expensive than your average game of course because you know, Games Workshop always is but not too bad so this appears to be the board and some counters so here's our board and as you can see, it's just a simple board with a whole lot of hex spaces on it. And there's two different designs. You know, it could be a bit thicker. This is pretty thin cardboard, I've got to say. But as I said, they're doing this relatively on the cheap. Um, and since it's just one piece and not foldable, it should be fine. That's our board. I've got some counters. Sort of, yeah, pretty thick counters that's not too bad there's a track here to keep track of um, various things during the game I'm not sure of the rules yet but they're pretty straightforward um, and also I can see there's a bit of a John Blanche um, influence here on the artwork John Blanche being one of the uh, great old men of Games Workshop illustration and here's a very particular style which has inspired a lot of their stuff over the years um, these counters, wound counters, look pretty tiny, a little too tiny for my choice. I think I'll be replacing those with red gems or something like that. But, there's our counters. Um, we've got a little rule book in a strange little plastic bag. That seems an unnecessary piece of plastic, doesn't it? And first we've got here a book on how to put together the miniatures in this set. It's only four miniatures, but quite a complex little book. And some nice suggestions for painting too, which is good. Um, trying to get you to buy the Games Workshop paints. You really don't need all of those paints. You can do a bit of colour theory mixing to get those different colours if you want to. Um, but of course, they want you to buy them all. Here's the rule book. Nice little square rule book. Lots of red and black, because that's what Corn, the god of war, is all about. Further butchery. Ah, how pleasant. And oh look, these are other characters. If you buy the extra miniatures, you can play these other characters as well. Continuing your adventure. Right. Now, this is annoying. That's bendy. I hate cards that have been shrink wrapped so they bend. That's a little pet hate of mine. Anyway, let's have a look. And these are our character cards. On the thinnest of thin cardboard, they're really cutting corners here, which annoys me. That's just a piece of backing card. They're very, very thin. It's almost paper. That's annoying. Anyway, we've got some cards. These are action cards. Let's see what the quality of these cards are like. I don't like cutting corners when it comes to game production. Um, yep, they're pretty cheap. There's no linen finish. They're not very thick. Here are critical injury cards, initiative cards. We've got six red dice, four bases for our miniatures, and here are the miniatures themselves. And I'm sure there's very good quality, 
They're very spiky, of course. It's all about corn and spikes and blood and carnage. And I have to say, this is something that I'm very impressed with, which is a plastic insert, which is something you don't see these days very often, and you certainly don't see it in Games Workshop games. This is, I think it's the first time I've ever seen it in a Games Workshop game. So that is impressive. They obviously took the budget from the cardstock and they put it towards this, which, you know, isn't so bad. That's very impressive. Oh look, and it's black inside the box. There's even artwork on the inside of the lid of the box, which is completely unnecessary. But there you go. So, Gort Chosen! There it is, folks. It's a very simple little combat game from Games Workshop. They've cut corners in some ways, and they've done extravagant things in other ways. It's some weird decisions in there. But um, I think this is a fun little filler, and um, looking forward to getting the miniatures together. Hope you've enjoyed this joy of unboxing. See you on orderofgamers.com.